And hello everybody, welcome back to the channel guys, I hope you're all well. Before we do get into today's video, as always, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Rangers content. Guys, we're trying to get to 26,000 subscribers by the end of the summer transfer window, so if you haven't already hit the big red button, please consider doing so. And in return, we'll keep you on the straight and narrow with everything in regards to Rangers Football Club this summer. Guys, today of course is the Champions League. Yes, Champions League, European night return back to Ibrox. As you can see, I'm in a different setup. I'm at Ibrox. No, I'm joking. Just a green screen effect. Uh, my new background is nearly, nearly done. It should be ready in the next couple of days. I'm so excited to show you it. It's a new era for this channel. We're going to take this channel to the next level. So yeah, buzzing to, to finally show off. No more crappy backgrounds. Uh, we're going to have a new home for RFC News, which I'm absolutely buzzing about. Um, but guys, in today's video, I just thought I'd take something a bit different. We'll talk about the game, of course, tonight against Savat. And I also want to say, I give my opinion as to who I think Rangers should go and sign this summer in terms of a signing that we need that is realistic and would take Rangers to that next level. Um, I'm really, really excited to show you who. But of course... As I said, Rangers back in action again against Servette as they look to try and, of course, um, get into the playoff round of the Champions League. Now, there is an update with regards to the Champions League. As yesterday, PSV Heindhoven, um, of course, we play the winner of, or should we beat Servette? I need to keep that in there. Should we beat Servette? We will play the winner out of PSV and Storm Graz. And yesterday, PSV blew Storm Graz away, beating them 4-1. They were 3-0 up at by the 32nd minute. They really, really do look dangerous. Um, and I hate to be a pessimist, maybe just because we lost at the weekend. I'm starting to feel like we're not going to be ready for it. But I don't think I really, if we get past Savat, which we should be doing, um, I don't think we're going to be beating PSV. But we all said that last year. Uh, I don't know. They just have a different feel to them this year. I think they're probably going to win the league in, in the Eredivisie and do well. They look like a terrifying opposition. So um, certainly one there to watch, but they look like they're going to be the opposition in the playoff round. Already 4-1 up after the first leg. Obviously the second leg to be played next week. However, there is, of course, no point looking too far ahead. Rangers, of course, have got to do their business tonight and beat Servette. I know, as I said, in terms of Servette and who they are, they have played Scottish opposition once, of course, uh, losing to Sir Alex Ferguson's Aberdeen back in the European Cup. Um, they haven't been in Europe, I don't think, in, since 1999, uh, when they were eliminated in the third qualifying round. That same year, Rangers beat Palmer to get into the group stages of the Champions League. So that's the last time so that we're playing in the Champions League um, but again as I said yesterday a team that like to play attacking football and are well up for it they've got a lot of confidence from their game against Genk it's up to Rangers to come away from Ibrox with all three points hoping hoping we can do that um, and as I said really set ourselves up for that second leg and get off into the playoff run with it where we can then deal with it not just getting into the Champions League um, uh, playoff round is important but to get that monkey off our back after that crappy first game of the season against Kilmarnock. Get back to winning ways and really get our season going this season. Guys, I'll be live for that game a bit later on today. Um, and of course, it's going to be uh, later on today. And as I said, match reactions are going to be coming to the channel. Some new era, uh, plenty of content for you guys to watch. Uh, but as I said in the title, guys, who I think Rangers should sign. I do think we're short in other areas. And I am bringing a blockbuster name to the table. Now, I don't bring blockbuster names to the table unless there is no realistic opportunity for us to sign said player. Now, I do know a bit about Liverpool Football Club and I do know a bit about Nat Phillips. Yes, Nat Phillips is currently put up for sale. He's got a price tag of around £10 million. And as I said, he will be leaving Liverpool after being a servant there for a very, very long period of time. Now, Nat Phillips so far has been heavily linked to Leeds United, has been linked to Feyenoord Rotterdam. Um, however, Rangers need a centre-back and I think Nat Phillips with the uh, quality that he has. He plays a lot. Jurgen Klopp high, has him in high regard. He's not like a Ben Davies where never made an appearance. He has played quite a lot. He's just unfortunate to have um, better players in front of him. But if he came into this Rangers team, he'd take Rangers to that next level defensively. I'm 
pretty sure of it. A really, really good age as well and a player that we could have at the club for a long period of time. Now, as I said, um, it is realistic. Liverpool are trying to or wanting to sell him this season. Uh, £10 million pounds as being the quoted sort of uh, price tag for his services. Obviously, if there's not that much interest or there's no bidding war, Rangers could obviously go in for a cheaper price and maybe land him for about seven to eight million pounds. Now, I do think Nat Phillips is one of them players where he would elevate our whole profile of the team. As I said, played as a regular within the Liverpool setup. He's won trophies there at times as well. And he's a great age to come in with the team. You may be asking where we're getting this money from. Well, we have made some sales this summer. I know we've brought in Danilo and all the rest of it. And I know we're doing other bits and pieces. But with regards to maybe Glenn Kamara going out the door on a projected fee to said to be around four to five million pounds. Fashion Sakala being sold yesterday for four million pounds. There's your transfer fee there, and we could get a really, really good centre-back. As I said, he's impressed already. His stock is fairly high. Maybe it's taken a little dip just because he didn't play that much last season, but of course was out on loan in the Championship, won promotion with his team, and as I said, so many teams were interested in making a move for him. Benfica submitted a bid for him last year. However, Liverpool had to keep on to him because of the injury crisis that they had in uh, in their sort of setup. So he's a player who just just came off a really, really good campaign out on loan and was highly regarded and highly touted within Europe uh, to, to, to go and be made. So I think Rangers should be pulling out all stops to try and land or at least inquire for the player. As I've said, I've spoken so much vocally on this channel stating that Rangers need a centre-back signing this summer and I think Nat Phillips would be the perfect player to come in and partner, you know, Connor Goldson or sort of in that rotation as well. Fantastic, fantastic defender. Highly regarded with the Liverpool fans as well. And I think this season and this summer only, I think, Grabbing him for that sort of price, he could be a sellable asset in the future as well uh, because he's English, he's got Premier League experience and as I said, he is at that age where he could be sellable as a defender. Um, so I think it's an absolute no-brainer and I think Rangers should be trying to go in for the player. But yeah, very, very interesting one. Different kind of video, guys. I just thought I'd give you my thoughts in terms of being scout Dan um, and, and trying to find a way through. But as I said, guys, it all starts this evening. Rangers in action in the Champions League and much of what we could do with our transfer budget may depend on how far we do get in these Champions League qualifiers or if we do get to the group stages. So as I said, fingers crossed we put on a good performance and make sure that we deal with Servat and get back to wing ways. But Rangers fans, do let me know your thoughts on Nat Phillips. Do you think we should be trying to make a move for that kind of player at the fee being touted at around £8 million? Yes or no? Let me know down there in the comment section below. That brings us to the end of today's video. As always, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Rangers content. Thank you, and I'll see you all next time. Take care. Peace.